All right, joined uh, now by Almagordo Tiger Cheer. Their competition season is about to get started uh, here in uh, in January. It's always an exciting time for the cheer team. And uh, second year at the helm, right, for Coach uh, Coach Anderson. How are you? Yes, sir, I'm great. How are you? Fantastic. Happy to have you here. Thank uh, you, you brought for having us. you brought two of your three captains here with you. If you want to introduce uh, them real quickly. Okay, we have Junior Kylie Rideout and Junior Kirsten Lucero, and we're missing Senior Milana Bickham. Who's at basketball practice? Yes, she's a very busy person. She's very busy, <laughs> so, and I'm sure she'll and she'll have uh, track and field in the spring as well. So and Kylie's multiple right. sports, yeah. and we have several that are multiple sports. So. Yeah. And, and I'm sure you guys encourage that to have them do as yes. much as they possibly yes, can. So we do. Um, so uh, kind of transitioning, you know, you spend most of the first half of the season out there at basketball, or not basketball, but at, uh, you are out of basketball, but football and soccer and pretty much anything that's going on. Uh, but now this is, you know, the part of the year where you guys get to focus on you a little bit more at, at the end of the day. Um, you know, talk about the, the first couple of weeks of getting into competition, because I think those are probably the hardest, would you say, is the, the kind of preparing everything? Yes, it's crunch time. Uh, the girls have received their game day choreography. They've received their cheer with music choreography. Now it's time to put the pedal to the metal and get yeah. it all figured out. What did you feel like? I mean, what did you feel like? Maybe you learned from you know uh, the team getting to go to state last year, and I mean, it had been I think a couple seasons since the yes. Lady Tigers had been able to go go to the state tournament. What did you feel like you learned? What did you feel like the girls learned? Because I mean, both of them were on varsity last year as sophomores. They, they yeah, were. So I'll let them go first. Okay, we'll start. With that. <laughs> Kirsten, we'll start with you. What, what did you feel like you took away from uh, from state last year that maybe you feel like you're going to be able to apply to to the new season? I think since I was a sophomore last year, I didn't take state as seriously as I would now. And so, like, to me, it wasn't as important. But this year, I think I'm going to put a lot more work in. Okay, very good. Kylie, how about you? What was the biggest thing you took away from, from getting to go to state last season? I think that I took out, like, that teamwork and all. Like what she said, I didn't take it as serious. And I think that the girls can learn from us last year and just taking corrections and having fun with it. Okay. And being a captain this year, maybe kind of being in that leadership role, does that kind of change the way that you have to attack things as well as on the cheer team? Yes, definitely. I feel like I'm not just working for myself anymore. I'm working like for the team and trying to bring it us all together and have the most fun that we can while working hard. And Coach, I mean, for you, what do you feel like in terms of being able to help the team and get them better prepared going into state? I mean, being a new experience uh, for, for you as a, as a head of the team, what do you feel like you learned in heading into, into state this year? I think we learned last year that anything is possible. We saw lots of teams accomplish things that we were surprised by. So I think that gives us hope that anything is, is possible. And last year we had, I don't think we had anyone with state experience. And this year we're returning and we're just having, I think, two young ladies without state experience. So. That's wonderful news for us. Yeah, and I would imagine, you know, for, you know, never having been to, you go to cheer competitions, but states obviously, you know, it, it means everything. So, I mean, those other cheer competitions, obviously, you want to win, you want to do well, but you know that, you know, the trophy's on the line when you go up there for that one. Yes. I'm sure that makes a little bit of a difference, yes, right? Yes, yeah. it does. Um, uh, we got these two here. We have to talk about Milan a little bit. Uh, tell us about some of the other cheer, cheerleaders that uh, you feel like are going to be important this season for your uh, your competition. And tell us about the uh, the rest of that. Kirsten, you go ahead. Daisha. Daisha. I think I love her spirit. She's going to be a really good cheerleader when she's older. Okay. And she is a what, freshman? She's older. She's a sophomore. She's a sophomore? <laughs> oh, okay. So you got her by one year. So. I love her. <laughs> uh, Kyle, you have anybody else that's really stood out to you so far that uh, mm -hmm. you've really been impressed with? I feel like either Song or Jesse. They both, like, Jesse's willing to try new things every day. And then Song, she also works with a bunch of, like, extracurriculars. And she still shows up at the end of the day, and it's good. Does other sports. Yes. I mean, she's she's busy with everything, it seems like. So, Coach, how about you? I mean, what are some of the other uh, ladies that uh, have, have stood out for you so far this season? I feel like everyone is valuable because we have some that bring tumbling. We have some that are great dancers. We have some that are great jumpers. And then some that just can work any position and stunting. So, I think everyone is valuable. Okay. Very good. Um you know, I talked about a little bit with Kylie, though, Kirsten. I mean, you know, being a captain this season, uh, you know, first of all, when Coach told you you were going to be a captain this year, what was your reaction to that? Um, I was kind of surprised because I'm a junior and most captains are seniors. Yeah. So I have a lot to, like, live up to next year. 
Okay. And, uh, you know, what, what's been maybe the thing that surprised you the most about being in the captain's seat? Maybe the thing that you've enjoyed the most? What's, what's stood out for you so far? My favorite part is, like, how much the girls respect you. Like, if you give them respect, they'll give you the same respect back, and I like that. Okay, very good. Kylie, how about you? And what's been, is there something that surprised you about it, something you really enjoy about uh, being, being one of the captains? I feel like just being someone that people can rely on. If they need to talk to someone or anything like that, then I'm there for them, and I'm glad that they know that. Coach, I mean, how much do you rely on on these the three ladies? I know Milan again is here with us in spirit. She's here in spirit. Yeah, uh, you know, how much do you rely on them in terms of you know the, the, having the team have the success and be able to do the things they do throughout the season? I rely on them a lot because I teach high school, yeah. so they uh, pick out uniforms and um, try to figure out first and second quarter, third and fourth quarter. They take a lot of pressure off of me. Yeah, I was gonna say so, it's got to be a team effort. I would yes, assume. it is. It takes right. a village. Um, I don't know if you could tell us. I mean, if it's breaking any type of uh, <laughs> rules. I mean, the, uh, the the competition. You could tell us about what what your. Uh, I don't know if you guys your game day competition, but the other part of it. Can you tell us what that what the involvement in that is going to be? Or cheer with music. You yeah. guys want to talk about cheer with music? Yeah. And what 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 is the the part that you enjoy the most about that? I mean, is it the stunts? Is it the various things, Kirsten? I mean, talk about what you like about your routine this year. They so, have a dance. Yeah. There's a dance portion in it. Oh, that's oh, it. I was right. Okay. okay. I like, um, there's this one part where three girls go and they do like uh, front walkovers and it's just like the formation comes together so perfectly. I love that part. Okay. Are you one of those three girls or are you kind of on a different no, part of it? I'm okay. in a different part. You're in a different part of it. <laughs> okay. Like good. All right. So Kylie, how about you? What have you enjoyed most about uh, getting to learn the new, uh, the dance with music part of it or the uh, the cheer with music part of it and uh, maybe what, what's, um, what do you think is going to be most interesting with that uh part of the routine this year i think with stunts everyone was super happy with all the stunts that we were doing this year and i think that the transitions for them are cool too and then just like part of what she was saying the transitions with different things in the routine it looks really good together i'm really excited for that what have you found most challenging so far about learning the the competition part of things this year um just just remembering everything and then with not getting like with the team not getting angry at each other (laughs) and things like that like just Remembering, yeah, because you, you get to a point that everybody knows it, but getting to that point is yes. really difficult. Yeah, uh, and Kirsten, I mean, for you, uh, what has been the most challenging part for you so far in uh, getting ready for the competition season? Um, I just think like us all remembering that we're still a team, and it's not just one person doing this; it's a team effort. So I think like the biggest part in competition is we need to have team bondings more. Okay. Very good. I know, Coach, when you guys had a chance, uh, Kirsten, when uh, she came in a little bit earlier, talked about, you know, getting to go and travel and do stuff with the teams this offseason. Do you feel like that's helped, you know, as you guys have gotten to this part of the year, some of the stuff that you were able to do in the summer with this group? Say that one more time. The the stuff that you guys were able to do with the summer with this group, where you guys guys traveled and went to some places in the summer. We went to camp. Yeah. In the mountains in Rio Doso. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) We did that. Um, That was an experience because (laughs) it was... uh, it was Not raining, the right? Was there was a rat in our room. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and no service. And no service. No service. And the, the, oh, okay. the food. Yeah. There was nobody to text and say, there's a rat in the yes, room. Or, <laughs> or to text to bring us food. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously it was something that built the team together. Yes, yes sure. definitely. Yes. Yeah. Because everybody's, la- most importantly, everybody's laughing about it afterwards. Right? Yes. Okay. After that's, the fact. After the fact, for sure. And then we're, we're thankful to our athletic department because we were able to travel to some football games this year. So yeah. that's exciting. Absolutely. I know. Uh, we Kirsten, haven't done that in a yeah, while. Yeah, Kirsten was talking about the Las Cruces game was a lot of fun in there. Kylie, do you have a favorite game that you guys went to this year? The Las Cruces game, yeah. too. Because yeah. yeah. it, was, it was the, you know, the... Do you guys enjoy it when it rains, stuff like that yeah. out there? Yeah, yes. Oh, we okay. got to wear ponchos. ponchos. <laughs> they were so cute. <laughs> and everyone was just so happy. Like, everyone was in a good mood. It was so fun. And the football boys were, like, happy to have us there. Yes. And they were, like, screaming at us, being like, cheer louder. And we actually <laughs> yeah. felt wanted. And we, and we won that game, which, oh, so good. And then I heard everyone was saying that we were good luck and things like that. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. So, hey, you guys went to uh, Cruces and uh, a couple other games this year. The, did you go to the Centennial game as well? We went to we went to Las Cruces High. We yeah. went to Las Cruces again. Yeah, so it's Centennial. Centennial. Yeah, yeah. And then we went to Rio Rancho. Okay, that's the, yeah the playoff game. Yeah, that's that was yes. super exciting. That was a long road trip that <laughs> yes. you guys got to go on and go out and eat dinner and do all that fun stuff. I would imagine. Yes. So that's pretty cool. 
Kylie, I mean, is there a favorite part of the you know, season that you enjoy the most? Is it going out and doing football cheers, the competition season? What do you like uh, most about the, the cheer season? I think I like most like cheering on the sidelines. I like cheering with everyone. I feel like when it gets to competition season, everyone like gets a little more stressful yeah. with everything. But football and basketball, I really like that. Do you have a favorite sport in particular you like going to? or not? You don't want to pick one over the other, do you? No. no. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> I, I, cause I, listen, you, you guys are out there to try to support everybody, everybody. so we don't want <laughs> to just pick one over the other. Um, so uh, something we want to mention right now we, before we were, uh, get out of here for today, uh, Kirsten, you guys have got a fundraiser that's uh, that's coming up, so we'll go ahead and have you tell about uh, what, what's going on. That's, that's actually going on today at Chili's, so tell what the folks can do. So today, if you come eat at Chili's and you mention Alamogordo Varsity Cheer, 15% of your ticket will get donated to us. Okay, very good. And I know the community does so much to try to go out and help you. But, I mean, you guys are out there helping the community so much. I mean, Coach, you, you guys, it, it's not just the, the high school sporting events. It feels like, you know, I turn around and I see you guys it's at other everywhere. events Everywhere, well. yes. Yeah. I tell them their season never ends. It's yeah. a never-ending season. So For sure. we love it. Absolutely. Um, so as you guys uh, head into your uh, competitions that lead towards state, you know, what are, what are the big things that you want them to focus on? And what are the things that you feel like are important, you know, when you guys go to cruises at cruises at NMSU is the first one NMSU in January. NMSU right? is in January. Um, focus on having fun and being spirited. And it's just time to put Alamo Gordo, I can't talk, Alamo Gordo back on the map. So. Yeah, you see that 2004 state title up there right. on that board. You guys want to get back we, to that we again. We want it. Yeah. We want it. Okay. And, uh, Kylie, I mean, what, what do you focus? I mean, obviously, state's the big one, but you know, wh- when you go to some of the other events throughout the year leading up to it, what's your big focus going into those, and what are you trying to, to do correctly going into into those events? Uh, just working as a team, teamwork, teamwork. Like that's a big part of cheer, and I feel like during competition season, we kind of kind of get off track with that, but definitely that, and then just everyone showing up. Okay. Well, Kirsten, we had a chance to talk to you for after the week a couple weeks ago, and you told us that you were getting to go to New York City and get to go uh, perform in the the Macy's uh, Thanksgiving Day Parade. So tell us, how did it go? What was it like? Uh, What what did you enjoy the most about getting to go there? Um, It was super cold. The food was amazing. I loved the food. Um, I got to go on the subway for the first time. That was an experience. (laughs) And then um, for the Macy's Parade, we had to wake up at like 3 in the morning, get ready, get hair and makeup done. And then we took the subway to um, Central Park, and we walked, I think it was like 30 blocks. Wow. And I got to see all these cool balloons. It was so fun. I loved it. And then we got to perform on live television. Pretty cool. It was cold, though. Yeah, it was freezing. (laughs) It was a little cold. I think that's normal for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, so that's pretty cool. Um, Kylie, I mean, I think I asked this to Kirsten when she came in a couple weeks ago, but I want to ask you, I mean, is cheer something you're hoping to continue after high school? Uh, I think so because I want to. I want to stay in sports for sure. I don't know if I want to do golf or cheer or that. But I mean, if I make teams, I'll try out. Okay. Like if if oh, no no, I'm I you just saying. Yeah, if you get the opportunity, <laughs> yeah. you'll yes. Go. If I get the opportunity, I'll definitely go. Okay, uh, you know, I didn't think to mention that golf coming up uh, here in, in in about three months or so. Have you been working on your game in the off season? Mm-hmm. Definitely, and we've also been like conditioning and things like that. Mm, yeah. yeah, I know Coach Stanford's really excited if he sees you guys out there at the the driving range yes. on your own time, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and have you thought about after high school what you got coming up after this? Do you know yet, or not sure? No, I'm not sure yet. Okay, you got some time. You don't have to worry <laughs> about that too much yet. Um, so, you know, Coach, more than anything, I mean. Uh, you know, what do you want the community to know about what this, you know, because these ladies, obviously, we see them out at, at events and things like that. But when they get to the competition season, unfortunately, we don't have one locally. So, um, you know, tell them about the different events that they can go to and what you'd like to know about, you know, how hard these ladies are working uh, away from people getting to see them out there at the games. They work extremely hard. Just this week alone, we had practice on Monday. We have a had a game last night. Today they have tumbling. Tomorrow there's practice. Then it's time to prepare for finals. So not only are they athletes, they're student athletes. Their grades are marvelous. So that's something to be proud of. They work hard. Yeah. Uh, so we'll mention at NMSU in January, uh, and in February, you guys are going to Los Lunas. Los Lunas, and then Artesia at the beginning of March, and then our state competition is March 18th. It's on a Saturday. So we would love any support that you guys, um, our community, would 
pr- be able to provide for us. Yeah. And of course, that'll be up in Albuquerque. And so it's down to just one day for the cheer competition. It's one day. They do dance on one day and cheer on, on one day. Okay, I got you. I remember they used to have, they did one part of the cheer competition on Friday and then overnight. It was, yes. they, they used to like post the scores, but they wouldn't tell you who this, do they yes. still do that where <laughs> if you do your game day and then you know what a score is, you just have to guess if it's yours or not? Right. Okay. Yes. <laughs> then COVID happened, so. Yeah. So do, they, so do they still, like, do they put the scores up in between the game day and the, the, the cheer with music? Last no. year, we didn't find out. Didn't find out. Okay, so you get it all at once at the yes. end of it. Okay, <laughs> yes. very good. Well, we certainly look forward to that, and uh, looking forward to see the next game you guys will be at is next Friday for Alamogordo Girls Basketball. Is that the next time we'll see you guys uh, out doing it again? Okay. And then uh, Boys Basketball on the 20th, I think, is the last uh, home basketball game. <laughs> yes, for, and for that you. date, just the time just changed on that. 30 yeah. minutes earlier? Yeah, that's right. 4.30 for JV and 6 o'clock for yes. Varsity as well. So, Okay. Well, uh, we certainly are looking forward to seeing what the competition season brings for you all. Uh, I know it's, a lot of us still, it's, it's just hard work for the next six, seven weeks for them. They don't get to go to competition. Yes. So. yes. Uh, but that's, I mean, I think that's what also stands out about the ladies is that, you know, they, they put in, what, three months of work for four competitions or four months of work for four competitions, mm-hmm. for right? For four competitions. And each competition routine is like two minutes and... A few seconds, so yeah. But you think of how much time it takes to put two and a half minutes to together. Be ready for it, yes. Yeah, absolutely. And hey, when y'all are out there at games and they ask you to cheer, do some cheering with the cheerleaders. All right, <laughs> y'all. I see the people sitting on their hands out there. Get into it with them and enjoy what the, what they're uh, bringing out there, ladies. Uh, good luck the rest of the season. Appreciate you coming in. Thank, Thank you for having us.